Hi, I'm Andreas Gelrud. I'm the director of the Pancreatic Disease Center at the University of Chicago. I'm also the director of therapeutic endoscopy at the University of Chicago. Welcome. Hello, I'm Eileen O'Reilly. I'm a medical oncologist specializing in pancreas cancer at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. So Eileen, uh, frequently my patients and particularly the family members of my patients ask what are the initial symptoms for pancreatic cancer? So the, the symptoms of pancreas cancer can be somewhat insidious. So sometimes people will notice a decrease in appetite, some weight loss. A common symptom for tumors arising in the head of the pancreas is that they'll notice their urine gets dark, they become jaundiced, or their family notice that they're jaundiced, or their eyes are yellow. Sometimes some, some pain in the upper abdomen, sometimes some tumors in the back of the abdomen, uh, maybe uh, back pain. And, uh, mm -hmm. and occasionally people will have no symptoms that they undergo imaging for some other uh, reason and are identified to have uh, a pancreatic mass. And Eileen, can you comment also on uh, the relationship between diabetes, particularly new onset diabetes in a patient above the age of 50? I think that's a, a key point to keep in mind that when we see an individual who's a little older who develops diabetes without traditional risk factors or a family history of diabetes, that's a concern that there may be some underlying process and occasionally we'll find that pancreas cancer is the explanation. And as you know, there's also uh, an association between long-standing diabetes and, and developing pancreas cancer. Absolutely, as well as the uh, incidence of uh, chronic pancreatitis, long-standing chronic pancreatitis, and having a little bit of a higher risk of developing pancreatic cancer. So these are all things that we need to keep an eye in our patients. Exactly, and one other area to, to keep in mind is if there's a strong family history of pancreas or related malignancies such as ovary, breast, prostate or endometrial cancer in a family that the symptoms may suggest that we have to keep uh, pancreas cancer in mind as a potential underlying explanation. Absolutely.